Well, hey families, hey kids, it's good to be coming back to you. Uh, sorry, it's been a long time, but sometimes we can't accomplish all the things that we would like to. So hopefully these will be back on a regular basis. But this is not just something for you to watch. This is something for you to watch together and then to be able to talk about it so you can connect church with home. You can connect God's truth with your day-to-day -day life. So let's get to it. So today we're talking, we're continuing through the Bible and talking about how God fulfilled his promises to Israel. He promised to Abraham that he would give him descendants and he would give them a place to live. And it was the land of Canaan. Well, we've seen how God brought them to the land and then it was their job, not because they were so good, but because God loved them and had mercy on them, that they were going to, to be a, a kind of judgment to the people that lived there. Because the people that lived there, God had been patient with them for hundreds of years, and they had done some really, really bad things. And God said, all right, it's enough, and now it's time for judgment. And so God sent Israel in to give them this land, they were also to, to get those enemies out. And they actually, they were to kill certain groups of people because God said these, not just anybody, but these groups of people because of their sin has gotten so bad. Well, in order to, to get this land, they, they couldn't just sit at home or sit by the campfire. They had to go. They had to act and do something. And it took perseverance. They had to believe that what God had said was true, that he would give them the land, and that he would be with them when they did something scary. They went to battle. Well, Joshua believed God's promises. He was the leader of the people. And Joshua, uh, one time, actually, he prayed for God to, to make the day extend so that they have more sunlight so that they could continue pursuing the enemy because he was committed to obeying God. Now, see, perseverance, it takes focus and it takes effort and putting one foot uh, after the next. Keep on going. And so I've got something here to, to help you see that. I've got this ping pong paddle and a ball. I used to play a lot of ping pong. Uh, I haven't played so much in a long time, but I could keep this going for a pretty good length of time. It does take focus though. Um, I couldn't do this all day because I would hit the edge, I would flinch, I would blink, something would go wrong. Okay, so I'm not gonna keep trying, but we're, we have something else. Now, that was a whole lot harder. I was keeping my left hand still, but then I was having to, to focus and persevere with my right hand. And as long as the church paid its power bill, as long as God's people were faithful to be generous and to provide that money, we had power. And as long as that hair dryer was working, I could just stand there and it didn't take any effort. But with the paddle, it took effort. And I knew that I couldn't do it as long with the paddle, but I kept on going. And it can be like that sometimes in our lives because we, we face things that are hard or that are scary and that take us believing what God said is true, even though it's, we don't have it right in front of us. We have to put one foot in front of the other and keep going and keep going. And so in our own battle with sin, we, we face things and we go, oh man, I, I knocked the ball off again. But God has promised to be with us, to forgive us in Jesus and, and to change us. And so we can keep putting that, picking up that ball and keep going, even though it's hard. Because God calls us to hard things. Jesus did hard things for us. So those are some things for you guys to talk about together. What, what are some areas that you need to persevere, you need to press on trusting God? Because it's going to be worth it. A lot, most of the things in life that are worth doing, they take persevering. And believing and obeying God are one of those things. Well, I hope that you, uh, this, this discussion is fruitful for you, and I hope that you have a good week. Take care.